Hey beauty babes, welcome to my channel. I am Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. But well, today I am back with a Wet n Wild haul to share with you guys today. And normally I don't do a lot of makeup hauls in my videos, um, or on my channel. I mentioned this a long time ago, probably two or so years ago, um, that I originally didn't like doing hauls that much because I didn't like what it portrayed as in like, encouraging so much shopping when we don't need it um and so i do happen to do fashion hauls and but i only usually do those when you know i need some extra clothes or when i just happen to have some extra money to spend because i love clothes but i don't do makeup hauls that often just because i actually don't buy makeup that often um, i am very fortunate in that i receive a lot of makeup for free as pr and so i don't feel like the need to like buy more makeup. I definitely don't need more makeup unless I ran out of something like, you know, mascara or something like that, then I will buy it. Um, but today is an exception just because I mentioned at the beginning of this year that this year I wanted to focus a lot more on drugstore products and doing drugstore reviews for you and looks using drugstore um, products. And you guys all seem to be super happy about that. Obviously my videos on that with those those videos are doing really well, so you guys really like seeing that. And so with that, I wanted to purchase a few more drugstore items because I don't have a lot. So I definitely don't need this stuff, but I did pick it up for the sole purpose just to be able to use it and try it and review it and all that kind of stuff for you guys. So um, I actually did do this haul. When I do hauls, if I shop, I try to do it very smartly. I usually wait till there's a sale or I could get some kind of discount. Um, and I happen to see that Wet n Wild I was having a, I think it was like a 24 hour flash sale where you can get, you shop the site and you can get 24% off. And I thought that was a good deal. Now I can get Wet n Wild here locally, like at Walmart and um, CVS and things like that. But um, at this time when I made this purchase, I could not find the new Wet n Wild um, palettes in stores. They, they just weren't there and I was so bummed because they look so beautiful, everybody had them and I wanted to check them out. So um, when I saw the sale, I was like, okay, perfect. I'll just order online. I'll grab a few things and I'll get the palettes that I want since they're not available here. So anyways, I got eight items and I spent a total of $37.52 um, and I got with the discount, it was um, $9.58 off. So that was, I felt like a good deal. Now not only is this a haul but it is kind of a like review of these items too because I have been using this and I actually did plan on filming this haul a, a lot sooner but I got sick and things came up and I didn't get a chance to film for two weeks so um, I'm filming this now but the good thing is I've had a chance to use these products. I kind of have an idea of my thoughts on them and I will you will most likely see them in videos already or upcoming videos so that is a good thing. So let me get into the first thing. I did buy two of the brand new um, 10 pan palettes. Now, I think there is four in total. Um, I might be wrong, maybe there's just three. But um, I actually, I'm kind of silly. You guys don't think I'm silly, but what I did was I couldn't decide really what I. No, yeah, there is four, there's four, now that I think about it. Because, okay, so there's these two, which is the uh, Nude Awakening palette. And then there is the revamping of the Comfort Zone palette. So and then I know that there is also the kind of like dupe of the Modern Renaissance palette. I think it's like Rosé in the Air or something. And then there's another one that's supposed to be, or everybody's kind of comparing to like a dupe of the Mario palette or maybe the Subculture palette, something like that. Anyways, I was trying to think for a while, like what was I going to get? And... Um, I didn't really want to get the, the dupe one of the Modern Renaissance palette, even though it looked beautiful and I love the Modern Renaissance, but the thing is, I have the Modern Renaissance, and as much as I love it, I really don't reach for it that often. Um, not because I don't want to, but just because I'm always getting new things to try and new shadows and new palettes, like honestly, that I didn't want another palette that was the exact same that I would, you know what I mean, when I have the Modern Renaissance. If I'm going to reach for those colors, I want to reach for the Modern Renaissance. So that's why I didn't get that one. And then as far as the other one, I can't remember what it's called. I looked at it online and I was thinking, I just don't know. I don't know if the colors speak to me that well. I had that blue in there. I don't wear blue that often. So I was like, I got to pass on that one because I don't think I'll use this. And I really don't see myself even attempting to try a look with it because... I want to be able to use it in tutorials and I was looking at it and I was like I don't think I would I don't know how, what I would do with that palette believe it or not 
So I did a silly thing. Here's where it gets silly. I bought these two palettes, like I said, and these are actually palettes that I do already own. Now I know I mentioned the thing about the Modern Renaissance. I feel like that's a little bit different because these are the new formulations of these palettes. So that's why it's a little bit silly. So I do have the old Comfort Zone palette and I do have the old uh, Nude Awakening palette which looks like this. So um, clearly there is an you know improvement with the design. They have the bigger transition colors which I love. Um, but you know they're the same. These are the exact same and these are the exact exact same and you guys might be thinking why not just use the old ones and and do that but everybody wants to see the new ones and also with the comfort zone it has the two new transition colors which i really was interested in um and you know so i just decided i'm just going to get the new versions of the ones i already have and that's not to say these will go to waste i'm actually going to pass these to my daughter who is getting in more into makeup and eyeshadows and when her friends come over they like to you know play and make up and do looks on makeovers on each other so I am going to be giving these to them so they're not going to go to waste but then I will keep and continue to use the brand new palettes and so if you haven't seen already I do already have a makeup tutorial with the um, Nude Awakening palette um, and I will link that and then today actually I am using the Comfort Zone palette on my eyes along with a glitter so um, I would love to know what you guys, you know, if you guys would like to see more tutorials with these palettes, which one you'd want to see. Now, in saying that, what's funny is like about a week later after I got my items here, I went to Walmart and the palettes were finally, and all the new items were finally in my Walmart. And I'm like, I could have just waited. I mean, although I did get a discount, so that was fine. But I thought that was funny. And when I actually saw the one other palette, I wish I could remember the name, but the one with the blue shadow in person, <sighs> it's much prettier in person and after seeing it in person I was almost like oh I should have just gotten it because I definitely could see myself using it and I'm almost tempted to buy it even though I don't need it but oh I'm so tempted um, and if you guys you know want to push the temptation you can definitely let me know if you'd like to see me create looks with that see me pick it up and use it and create looks that inspire you with it then I might be persuaded into picking it up but I was surprised that seeing it in person it's much prettier than it looks online and so I definitely think it's a palette that I would use um, but clearly don't need so I didn't grab it that day when I saw it in Walmart but anyways that's a long long chat about those two palettes let me get into the rest of the items I got all right so because I really fell in love with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation my main intrigue um, in a lot of the products that I picked up was in the Photo Focus line I was really curious to see how the rest of the Photo Focus line um, was since I love the foundation so much so what I did was pick up two of the Photo Focus pressed um, powders. My thought was that like, okay, you have a, a foundation that's supposed to be flash proof so you don't get flashback and stuff like that. But depending on what you set it with, you might still get flashback if you're not using the right powder, right? That is, you know, photo focus approved. So I definitely wanted to pick up um, the powder version of it. And I don't know if they have a loose powder, but I kind of am curious if they do and might want to try that because I feel like um, this one, when I first use it, it kind of hard panned on me. I was using it with a synthetic brush, which I feel like sometimes synthetic brushes do that. They hard pan products and I don't know why, um, but I scraped it a little bit to kind of scrape off the hard pan and then have been using it with a natural hair brush and I feel like it, 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 it applies a little bit better, um, but... I don't know, my first impressions with it hard painting was like, oh, I can't really use this. So um, I do feel like it's really nice um, and I don't know, I don't have like a lot of thoughts on it just because my first impressions was like, dang it, a hard pan. Um, but and it was like a really hard pressed powder but what's interesting was this one I got decided to get one let me just I forgot to say what shade I got I got warm light and then I also got the shade cocoa um, just because I thought ooh, maybe I'll try to use it as a bronzer or contour um, and so I have used this a couple times as my like contour and bronzer and this one has, actually was a lot better to use like when I used it um, powder actually swirled up and I could actually get product on my brush and put it on my face and it was really nice really smooth I think it works great for me as a, a contour shade and so um, it's weird because I feel like the other one doesn't 
isn't isn't the same. I don't know why, um, but I definitely I really like this and I've been reaching this more than I've been reaching for this one. But I kind of almost really want to like just chop this up <laughs> and use it as loose powder um, because pressed is just a little bit too hard pressed, I think. So I wasn't getting as much product from it. Um, the next items I picked up were the and this is crazy because this is like um, like all the 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 writing on it there was writing on here and it's all like worn off like it wiped off it's so weird but this is their um i can still see it a little bit photo focus color corrector in the shade peach oh my gosh i really like this a lot i like the size of it which is weird it's different than this size which i'll get into that in a minute um it's a round tube and it has a very nice flat doe foot applicator which is very similar to the urban decay um naked skin concealer um, and I love that I love that kind of applicator that's flat and kind of a little bit flexible so that it, it just applies really well so I really like that um, and this color peach it's a color corrector so it's not concealer but it's a color corrector and I use it for my dark circles and this is the perfect shade for me um, I know a lot of people use oranges or reds or yellows and I usually mix like um, a yellow and an orange if I do color correct to get that nice peachy shade um, to color correct but even then it's still really like orange on, uh, you know on my skin tone until I put a foundation over it and it covers it whereas this I could almost get away with wearing this alone if I don't want to wear a concealer or foundation it perfectly matches my skin but also um, color corrects my dark circles it's so good I really like it. I don't know how anybody else feels about it or you know what other skin tones feel about it but this peach one is literally perfect for my skin tone and I love it it's very lightweight um, and so it's just really easy to wear and just apply it put some on my dark circles blend it right in and if I want to leave my face alone like that I feel confident to do that. So I, this is like a win for me. I really, really like this. And then I did get, which is still in the packaging. I don't know why I put it back in there just to show you that I got it. I don't know. This is the Photo Focus Concealer and I got it in the shade Light Medium Beige. And this one's in a square or rectangle like tube. Um, I think the wand is more like a little foot. Yeah, it's, so it's more of a foot doe foot applicator, not flat and, and um, and uh, flimsy like the other one um, and I like I said I like the other one better this one's okay this is typical of a of a concealer wand or like a lipstick wand um, but it's not my favorite I just feel like it feels too dense it's the same thing with like this is kind of a random tangent but Urban Decay their Naked Skin Concealer which I love I love that doe foot applicator and then they came out with the all nighter concealer which I also really really love but the applicator on that one, I would I would have thought it would have been the same like the Naked Skin, but it's not. It's different. It's like this one. It's more just dense, and I feel like when you put it on, I don't know. It's, it's a weird tangent, but I'm just, all that to say is I like the flat, flimsier one better. <laughs> um, I've only used this a couple times, so I feel like I don't have a ton to say about it. I feel like I got light medium beige and I thought that it would be like a good, I mean, it is a good color for me, but... I usually go for a lighter, even lighter concealer, and I feel like this is, I don't know, almost a little bit more, a little bit too dark for me, but but not. I don't know. It works. Um, I think I used it in my tutorial when I did the um, when I did the pink look with this palette, um, and so I do. I like it a lot. I think it's a great concealer, but I definitely need to use it a little bit more to develop my thoughts. Um, some more on it. But first impressions are good. And then I just have two more items that I got I decided to grab some mascaras now when I picked up this mascara I thought it was like literally brand new I saw someone talking about it in a makeup group I'm in and I was like oh my god I've never seen it before it looks so neat and I thought I heard them say it was new but then when I started looking it up after I did my last video using this I was like oh my god this has been around for like a year so I'm so late to the game I'm clearly with a lot of drugstore products but this is a very interesting, the design is very, very interesting. Um, the wand is very interesting. It looks like a medieval torture device. Um, but I actually really like this um, formula and I really like this mascara. If you watched the video that I mentioned already, I used this um, on my lashes and it does a good job. Like I was kind of not sure if I was going to do lashes. I was thinking I would just stick to mascara, but I was like, if I think I need lashes, I'll probably put the lashes on. But after using this, I was like, holy dang, 
this works really well. It really built up my lashes, gave them some thickness, some volume, and a little bit of length. Um, I thought they looked really good. They did get a little bit clumpy, but um, it wasn't horrible. And the thing is, is like I, the formula of this is really good, and this kind of has like this spiky ball at the end, which I feel like is supposed to help with getting more definition, so you don't get clumpy. But the um, the little spikes on it are kind of stumpy, so they're not like long to where they can kind of like comb through your lashes. So I feel like it almost defeated the purpose of it. So I don't know. Either way. Um, you may or may not like this because it, it can make your lashes look clumpy, but it also really like gives some good volume and length and really does something to your lashes. Like I was really impressed by it, like it a lot. So, um, and then I decided to also grab this Omega uh, Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. I got the waterproof. I didn't realize there was a non-waterproof one. I only saw the, the waterproof one, which I normally don't like waterproof mascaras. But I didn't mind that because I really only got this to um, for my lower um, lashes. I I kind of, I, I like, I've tried before other mascaras that are super skinny like this, um, and they just are so good for getting on your lower lash line, especially if you're someone who, no matter what you do, always end up getting mascara on your lower <laughs> lash line. Um, I typically do that and always have to clean it up. And so I was like, I want to get a skinny like mascara that's does that's not like you know 50 bucks or something. And so I decided to pick up this. And so I really like it. It does. It gets the job done. It's a nice skinny, skinny one if you can see. And I don't know, no complaints about it. So um, a really good mascara. It's great that there are so many great options that are that are actually really affordable because like I like I already mentioned with this one of the palettes being a dupe of the modern renaissance or whatever and the what in the the photo focus foundation it being like five dollars and it's so so good um, these are products that that I feel like are pretty comparable to high-end products but they're so so cheap and it's insane so um, I'm happy to have them in my collection and keep using them and I'm really happy to kind of be on this drugstore journey for this year and to be trying more stuff um, and so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on these products and this haul if there are any other products from Wet n Wild or just any other drugstore products in general that you would like me to try as I'm trying to try more here on my channel definitely recommend them leave a comment letting me know you know your recommendations or what you'd like me to um, like to see me use so anyways uh, that's enough of my rambling thank you guys so much for watching and until next time much love and hugs to you bye beauty babes